There is a fresh warning today about throwing away old electrical equipment such as phones and tablets because their batteries could be set on fire or explode. Fire services say they're dealing with an increasing number of fires caused by items that weren't disposed of properly. Our reporter Harriet Bradshaw has the latest. This is a test to show what can happen when you crush or penetrate a large lithium-ion battery. Even smaller batteries than this one can cause huge fires if they're thrown into the general waste instead of properly being recycled. The results can be ferocious. This waste transfer site fire at Herne Hill in London took days to put out. The cause? The fire service concluded most likely a lithium-ion battery setting alight and not suspicious. It was a really scary experience for all of us. The sky was yellow. You could smell this horrible, horrible smell of burning chemicals and plastic. We had to close our windows. During a heat wave, we were stuck in our homes. And eventually we decided to leave our home because our two-year-old daughter was coughing and her cough was getting worse. We didn't know if it was caused by the smoke from this hideous fire. Now, Imperial College London's new research has found there was a significant spike in air pollution during this fire. So this is just another example of where air pollution is being affected negatively. Uh, and it's something that we don't need. We need, we need to be uh, reducing the, uh, the release of pollution into the air, not increasing it. And the problem is growing, according to the National Fire Chiefs Council, which says fire services are dealing with increasing incidents involving incorrectly disposed of batteries, which can alight in bin lorries and rubbish and recycling centres. And they're a really big challenge to the fire and rescue service. They cause really unpredictable, really prolonged, protracted, protracted fires. And the results can be really catastrophic with the types of, of toxic gases that go into the atmosphere, the types of water runoff that will go into the water systems and of course the smoke that can affect our local communities. So it's something that's a real focus for the National Fire Chiefs Council and I'd really urge households, families to really think hard about how they recycle those electrical items. We conducted some market research, nationally representative research that scales up what we think the challenge is. And basically that revealed that 1.6 billion batteries were being thrown away a year. That's 3,000 a minute. Over a billion of them were hidden batteries inside portable tech. So people are putting batteries in the bin, but they might not realise they are? What are we talking about? What you've got is sort of the obvious batteries that we all recognise, the portable batteries in remote control. But actually, increasingly, there's a number of hidden batteries inside electrical portable technology because we need that for it to be powered when we're on the move. So you've got the infamous vape here with a lithium ion battery inside, but other items too. So even in this earphone set, you've got three different lithium ion batteries and even things such as electric toothbrushes, uh, power banks, remote control speakers and shavers too. All of this is powered by battery technology. Scott Butler admits it's not just down to the public, but retailers and manufacturers also have a responsibility. But the advice for customers is to recycle electricals responsibly to avoid the ferocious risks of these waste fires. Harriet Bradshaw, BBC News. We will be discussing that a little later on this morning. If any questions, let us know. We have an expert just talking us through the risks and, and what you should do. It's something you don't really think about, isn't it? Because so many, like electric toothbrushes, you can't change the internal batteries, you know, if they're charged and everything, mm -hmm. if they're USB chargers and things. So you just don't think about it.